Okay. Oh, the backpack. When do you see this backpack? This is comical. People use them hiking. It's not comical, John. We're not hiking. We could. Load it up. OK, guys, let's go. Outside, Victoria sees that the dogs aren't Connie's only source of stress. See, you're letting too much slack in the leash. That's Hold why he drags you. This is every walk. Oh. John, you I have know, you more don't wanna, You want to hear what you have to say oh. and what nobody else has to say. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh, so you're walking battle. ahead of me. Okay, I'm not walking on. with that ridiculous thing on okay. his back. Okay. Oh, so you, you stay here, because you don't want to walk with her? It's embarrassing seeing people's reactions with, with this ridiculous-looking saddlebag. All right. John may be too embarrassed to walk with Connie and the dogs, but Victoria is going to give it a go, if she can keep up. The walk wasn't a walk at all. It was like a slow-paced run. It was terrifying. I have to walk leaning back, so yeah. I'm digging my heels yeah. into the ground. How, how long do you walk like this? I used to walk for about an hour, but I can't anymore with my knee problem and back. I can't do it. So you got a knee problem, you got a back problem. Right. And, yet and you're the wrist, these her two yanking dogs. this on my wrist is just and your painful. Wrist now. So do you feel like you're pretty much on your own with uh, this yes, kind of stuff? Yes, absolutely. I think it's very, very frustrating that John walks the two relatively docile dogs, while Connie is walking Max and Sasha. Oh, there's a dog, there's a dog. Hold on, hold on. Take this dog. Oh, man, shucks. Oh, sweetheart. At one point, Sasha's head collar comes off, and she's free and loose. Oh, yeah. OK, just put it on All right. OK. Good girl. All right. What happens if Connie was by herself at that point? You always walk a blocker behind. Yes. Only because of the... Of the, this bag. Sack. It'd be nice if you could walk up there with her. OK. Should we join her? Well, let's join her. John is exasperated with Connie, but if they don't learn to work together and work as a team, the dogs will not be successful. Victoria wants to fundamentally change the way Connie walks her dogs. I wanted to come out straight away just to do a little bit of work with Sasha. Dogs right. learn much faster when they get individual attention. What's happening is she's being rewarded by walking. What I'm saying now is no. You're not going to get to where you want to go to until you stop pulling me. And I'll show you what you need to do. OK, Sasha, let's go. Good girl. Good girl. Sasha, let's go. Good girl. If you are more unpredictable to her, she's got to focus on you. The dog's got to realize that you are at the other end of the leash. So you need to get their focus. I'm going all over the place. So if she doesn't pay attention to what my body's doing, then she's going to get pulled around. She's now got to become alert as to what I'm doing. Now, could you do this? So don't ever let her pull you. If she suddenly surges out, stop. Or if you want to change direction, she now needs to focus on you. OK. I am nervous, a little apprehensive. Let's go. Good girl. This way. Sash. This way. Use all kinds of noises, too. Let's go. Try not Let's... to jerk her. OK. Sasha, this way. Let's Good. Go. Nice. This way. With your voice. This I like way. that. Let's Making go. those noises. This way, nice. Sasha. This way. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Sasha, this way. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. How's she doing now? She's walking the dog with a loose leash. And that's how it should be. Good girl. Exactly. Big difference. I never thought I'd see this day. <laughs> Yes. I'm always saying I have to take two dogs out, and uh, I can't do that anymore. So definitely we'll be walking one at a time. Good. This way. <laughs> Good. This way. Connie walks Sasha. She can have that with all her dogs, as long as she puts in the work. This is just the start. After a successful afternoon of training, Victoria wants to make sure the family's all on the same page. Consistency is key. If everybody does something different, the dogs will never learn and it compromises their learning and it compromises their success. Everybody who deals with the dogs in whatever home they're in have to deal with them in exactly the same way. Victoria wants to show Brian and Nicole how to walk the dogs properly when they are under their supervision. Pulling is reinforced when you allow the dog to get to where it wants to get to. But if you show the dog when you pull, you get nowhere. <laughs> And the dog begins to realize the only time I get somewhere is if I don't pull. So, for example, she starts to pull me now and I stop. 
I wait until she either orientates her body towards me or looks at me. Good girl. Good girl. I'm praising her while she's walking by me. Good girl. Yes. Girl. So you see how, how we do that. Now, what we're going to do... Midnight, let's go. Good boy. I want to see how much he pulls. If he goes out in front of me and he pulls me, let's go. I walk off in the other direction again. Now he's aware of my movement. And this is really important to get him to this point, so I'd like you to do this with him. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. And don't forget to stay close when he's up by your thigh. Close. Good. I think uh, now with uh, Victoria's methods of walking a dog, I think we'll, we'll go with that. I wish uh, Victoria could spend a, a lot more time here. Uh, she seemed very knowledgeable and very dedicated in what she does. Lovely. Do you have any questions? Not with the walking. No, okay. I mean, it's great. We learned today that we all have to follow the same method, be consistent, and hopefully that alone will have a huge impact on the difference we see in all four dogs. Oh, I like a dog that walks by my side. Look how we've transformed your backyard. Oh, jeez. Hey. I see all this hay all over the place. I said, what's next? What, are you going to bring ponies into the picture? Connie and John, I want to introduce you to Jane Koppelman. Hello. It's very nice to meet you. Hi, nice pleased to, to meet, meet you. you. And she's a wonderful trainer. She's been in the business for a very long time. Okay. And can you just tell me about what you do and why we're here? We're here to introduce your dog to a program called Lug Nuts, which is an informal weight pulling contest. It's a great outlet um, for a dog who needs some kind of competitive, kind of macho outlet. But it's completely harmless. You can't hurt the dog. Oh, so we're going to introduce your dog to it today. Can't wait. It's yeah. fun. I'm so yes. excited. So it's something you could do with Midnight Such as well. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is bring Sasha over here, and we're going to fit a harness on Sasha, Sasha a pulling harness. Sasha's a husky. Huskies like pulling things. So I thought weight pulling would be a great sport for her. Sasha, so good, good, girl. Girl. good girl. Teaching a dog to pull a weight is not going to teach them to pull on a leash. The two things are very separate. She's like, what's happening? What are you doing to me? Right, so one of the things I would do with Sasha, I would actually take the food off the sled and just have her pull the empty sled initially. OK. So that um, she gets used to having a harness on and all of that. She wants to get in the sled. Look at that. <laughs> oh. I have an idea. How about you pull me? <laughs> Here's some treats. OK. And I will hold the leash. Okay. And what I want you to do is hold the food right in front of her nose, as low down to the ground as you can so that her head is bent down. Good, and just stand in front of her. You can face her. Perfect. And lure her along. Great. Great. Good job, Sasha. Good job. Good job. Good girl, Sasha. What is this good for? This is good for um, building confidence. They use their minds, they use their bodies. It's exercise, it's mental stimulation. With Sasha comfortable pulling the sled, weight can now be added. OK. Do I just place it anywhere? Yes. Just in. Here we go. Good. Down. Perfect. Sasha is my Iditarod dog, and I am her sled. Well, this is the idea, you see. What you don't know is we're going to take you to Alaska. <laughs> After each successful lap, more weight is added. This is about 25% of Sasha's body weight, okay. which is, is a lot. OK. Wow, now she's really pulling. You can see that, can't you? She felt the weight of that. She felt that weight. Jane places a 40-pound bag on the sled, which is 70% of Sasha's body weight. The more weight Sasha can pull, the better the exercise she gets. Keeping the head down. Good. Yes, keep the head down and feed her as you go. Come on, Sasha. Because this is weight. Come on, Sasha. Good girl. Yeah. yeah. Good, good girl, yeah, Sasha. Yeah. Good girl. That's heavy. Good girl. 
You know, because we've added gradually, at no point did she feel, you know, that she couldn't do it. So that was great. I think it's just really important that you have quality time with each dog, because they're all in, just in a pack together all the time. They need space away from each other, and they could do with your undivided attention once in a while. Exactly. And then I think that's really going to improve their focus upon you, so it's going to make walking them outside much, much easier. You have something going on in Manhattan where we could take her? Absolutely. Absolutely, and she's already started. You're going to be Miss Doggy you're gonna School. Have, you're going to have a lot of fun. OK, thank you so much, Jane. This is great. Perfect. All right. OK. Oh, my Sash. Come on, let's go. Let's go, Sash. John has really stepped up with his responsibility, especially walking the dogs. Huh. Sash has been progressing pretty well. Good girl. Drastic improvement since the last time.